midst of today's confusion, intrigues, and chaos. A call is being made. A call to men. Men who will love God. Totus tuus. Lord, I am all thine. Serve God. My whole life is for the Lord, no? for His service and for everything. And live for God. The Carmelites take their name from their place of origin, the biblical mountain of Carmel. Revered as one of the sacred places in Palestine, Mount Carmel has also been associated with the great Old Testament prophets Elijah and Elisha. During the time of the Crusades, a group of men decided to settle on Mount Carmel. They made the prophet Elijah as their inspiration and model. Thus did the prophet become the spiritual father of the Carmelites. From the very beginning, the hermits paid special honor to Mary, the mother of God. Hence, the first chapel of the Carmelites was dedicated to the honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Moreover, they referred to themselves as the brothers of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. By 1210, St. Albert, the Patriarch of Jerusalem, gave the Carmelites then the rule. This would serve as their guide as they started to increase in numbers. After the rule was finalized and approved by Pope Innocent IV in 1247, difficult problems and situations compelled the Carmelites to request for mitigations, which different popes granted in the rule. These mitigations brought about several reactions from the members of the order. One of them was a call for the order's reform. There were many movements for reform. St. Teresa of Jesus in Avila, Spain, initiated one among them. This would be one of the most successful and enduring Carmelite reform movement. Together with St. John of the Cross, St. Teresa of Jesus sought for the restoration of the ancient prophetic spirit of the first Carmelites in the midst of a changing world. Just like the hermits in Mount Carmel, they wanted to provide the environment where women and men could come to an experience of God's loving and healing presence in a world that was torn by strife and division. Today, the Filipino discussed Carmelites of the third millennium are faced with the same challenge. After the footsteps of their holy parents, St. Teresa of Jesus and St. John of the Cross, they are called to give witness to the prophetic spirit of the first Carmelites in this new era. The Teresian Carmelites of today are challenged to live their great tradition of contemplative prayer and apostolic service to the church. Hence, today's Carmelites, just like the first hermits, are called to become a continual reminder of God's presence among His people and of His loving concern for them. From yearning, I continue the searching. Where do you want me to go? Where the spirits lead, the journey before me. I take the first step and begin. The road may be narrow. Maybe still, but it calls me to enter in. Show me, Lord, show me, Lord, where do I go from here? I lay my life before you. I surrender to your plan Show me, Lord Show me the way to your heart So many times So many seasons 
reasons have left my soul longing for more. Oh God, how I hunger! Oh God, how I thirst to know that You're all I live for. Will the spirits lead the journey before me? Take the first step and begin. The road may be narrow, the path may be steep, but it calls me to enter in. Show me, Lord. Show. From here, I lay my life before you. I surrender to your plan. Show me, Lord, show me the way to your heart. Oh, oh, oh. show. enlightened by you, my heart rest on you, and my will be conformed according to your will. Mm -hmm.